This will be the next video in the series of environmental current affairs that we have been seeing and my name is Sivaraj Rajendran and with that information we will go into the video and uh, see this is what uh, this Chilika lake this Chilika lake it is being asked in every time it is being asked see in uh, Odisha we have seen Kalrapet um, I mean see again sorry if I am mispronouncing I am very sorry please check that there is a six elephant last video we saw there is a six elephant we, which got uh, hit by a train or uh, they got sorry uh, six elephant died and uh, there is a wildlife sanctuary in Odisha we saw and the tri tiger uh, relocation project Satkosia we saw Chilika Lake in Odisha again Chilika Lake in Odisha is very important see it is a very important brackish water lagoon okay where uh, and the this this brackish water lagoon second is this uh, and uh, if you happen to see why in why I, I did not know why they kept asking this Chilika Lake in every question paper of prelims but it's because see this it's a first Indian wetland see of international importance Ramsar convention Ramsar convention we saw in the previous video right or the, the video before uh, the protection of wetlands this uh, Chilika Lake is a wetland only so for protection because of its uh, destruction it was being protected but uh, the another important question what you should know is that this Chilika Lake has this Iravadi dolphin this is very very important see last time I think 2020 they asked this question 2020 or 2019 I am not sure you please check that they said that Chambal River Chambal River has this Iravadi dolphin they said this this is in UPSC you please check that but uh, whether Chambal has and remember this Ken Betwa we saw Ken Betwa Ken Betwa link and I asked you to see Chambal River it goes like this I asked you to see Chambal River uh, and uh, this Ganga joins here this is Ganga uh, if you remember this uh, please ch check the check that check the check the map again uh, that is Chambal River Ken Betwa link this is Ken Betwa link and there is a Panna National Park uh, or Biosphere Reserve Tiger Reserve present please check this map uh, what they said you know they said that this Chambal River contains this Iravadi dolphin whether see again uh, again one more information you should know Iravadi is a river here see this it, this is uh, in northeast okay it's a river there Chambal is nowhere here near Chambal is in central India you should know this Chambal is in central India uh, Iravadi dolphin or Iravadi is here but uh, you should not uh, but I, I see again I, I, I was also I, it, it is confusing right because Iravadi is a river here logically Iravadi dolphin should be in the Iravadi river but it is in Ram's Chilika lake it is present okay then I got see then the distribution see this Iravadi dolphin is present here completely here see this this is here and all along the coast it is there see this see this it is all along the coast this is mark see this um, this region if you are able to see these are all areas where Iravadi is there and Chilika is here right so uh, the, obviously then Chilika lake when it is there there Iravadi dolphin should be there right uh, this see again it is protected under see again this word is coming wildlife protection act again what is it is protected wildlife protection act it is a very important thing you have to know see and wh why they keep uh, that is what it is critically endangered right see it is critically endangered as well this is very very important my friends please look at it please look at it and map question okay I will ask you to see map question Caspian Sea Lake Baikal Eral Sea uh, where these three seas are please check that in your map so as I told you when we are when we are discussing uh, this have your map beside uh, Wikipedia and some notes to note it down uh, in the map now check where is Chilika Lake where is Iravadi uh, River where is this Caspian Sea where is this Lake Baikal this was asked Lake Baikal was asked in UPSC prelims uh, and Aral Sea was also asked so see this all these three seas have been asked so when you are reading one Chilika lake one information in that how many things are there 
so how many things we have to pick up so now it is your duty to see that if anyone in comment please you can put the map also it will be useful for others caspian sea lake baikal eral sea map if you have please put it uh, but uh, iravadi dolphin is here but uh, another see another uh, dolphin is there see not only iravadi dolphin this is humpback dolphins see this is also there see this this is also uh, in our uh, in this is a possible range this is see if they ask iravadi dolphin humpback dolphin also is there you should know see and the humpback dolphin is also present all these areas see not here i think not here but other areas see here and all it is present all along the coast it, see it is a see what is that it's a uh, it's a dolphin right it can swim anywhere so the logic should know see but but iravati dolphin is present only here see this is the point chumma have the, because here it will overlap it's an information i got uh, while taking it will overlap so iravati dolphin will be here and uh, this humpback dolphin will also be there but humpback dolphin has an indian humpback indian ocean dolphin has a presence all across this uh, coastal area but not iravadi dolphin iravadi dolphin only here restricted to here and uh, check where is this iravadi river check again chambal river check again Ch chilika okay next and then uh, see this mahendra giri uh, see this in odisha we have seen so many things okay odisha there is see now uh, odisha there is simlipal okay simlipal biosphere reserve northern so odisha is like this means in the northern area there is a, a biosphere reserve already but they are asking for mahendra giri second so where it is please check that uh, and uh, see it's it's in eastern ghats so it's in eastern ghats uh, where it is and uh, we we have seen uh, odisha uh, tiger relocation satkosia and uh, elephant uh, uh, there are dying eight elephants dying uh, one uh, kalra uh, see uh, check that k it starts with k please check that last video please check that see that is what they are all odisha already has a biosphere reserve it is called simlipal okay but they are asking for a second so it's called as uh, mahindra giri Second, see this we already saw uh, one horned rhinoceros, uh, but in one horned rhinoceros information is very important. Uh, and the see this rhino vision. What is this rhino vision? Uh, vision vision 2020. Uh, rhino vision 2020, my friends. Uh, if you happen to see rhino vision 2020, is was started nearly around 2005 for increasing the one horned rhinoceros population to 3000 this was in current affairs so i took that see uh, rhino vision you, you can check that rhino vision uh, and the manas national park we saw in the first video itself again please check where is manas national park maybe i'll show you the important national parks in manas or in assam uh, now in the last end of the video but uh, vision 2020 is important what is vision rhino vision 2020 is improving rhino population in india sorry in assam okay uh, but uh, while we are seeing this we have to know that uh, see i have kept this uh, this is what is in kasi ranga right this is what is in there are actually rhino family does not have only one kasi ranga has this right kasi ranga has this uh, but there are others also uh, others also white uh, black uh, javan sumatra javan you will know sumatra you will know right it is in indonesian island indonesian island i'll show you the figure right i'll show you the figure also like this uh, you have to know see where is the distribution like this iravadi dolphin distribution javan sumatra where it is i'll show you the distribution but uh, there are five things uh, and there are also extinct rhinos also but a great one horned rhinoceros remember where it is i have shown in the first video itself it is in see but the current range this is what upsc asked one horned rhinoceros only in india they said only in india how they are asking it is in india nepal currently see this it is in india nepal okay it is in india nepal even bhutan they i think they don't have uh, but anyway so i uh, but uh, but uh, but not only in india but uh, and uh, and this black so see there are five types black white uh, javan sumatran white uh, so black is see black you can remember black in africa 
uh, see it may sounds racist but anyways we have to remember this black rhino where it lives uh, africa and uh, see the, they can live see again elephant why i have this means elephant i showed you the question elephant is last i think last video we saw elephant they asked this question of uh, how many years gestation uh, how many years gestation period uh, where or who leads uh, matriarch uh, elephant is a matriarchal group uh, which is the highest number of state uh, having uh, elephant population so black rhinos uh, see, uh, but then this will apply to other rhinos as well, right? So 40 to 50, sorry, 35 to 40 years they live and the gestation uh, last, so it's 15 to 16 months. And uh, if you see gestation for uh, elephants is 22 months. Chumma, see, have this, see, when we are reading African elephant, America, sorry, uh, Asian elephant and they have UPSC has asked this question and UPSC keeps asking this rhino question and rhino we should know maybe, okay, maybe gestation period just have a thing, okay, 15 to uh, 16 months in uh, uh, this uh, human beings it is less, right? Uh, so elephants 22, this 16 uh, and you think about it, okay? And uh, see, again, this is uh, black, uh, white. So where is white rhino? So where is this white rhino? There is black rhino, white rhino. We will think that white rhino might live in America, but white rhino also lives in Africa. So both live in Africa. Okay. So you should know this. Uh, black rhino, white rhino, both live in Africa. Okay. Black and white live in Africa. Africa is the place where human beings originated. So black or white, everyone goes to that point. Uh, and see this see uh, they have two horns uh, if you have see, if you happen to see uh, uh, the pictures and all african rhinos will have this two horns india one horn what is the difference if, if now you remember asian elephants african elephants african elephants i said female and male both have this tandam or the teeth right both have indian elephant only male have here we have one horn rhinoceros but in africa they have two horns okay difference africa they have white and uh, uh, black rhinos but they have two horns okay then this javan see the same uh, it's in, it's in distribution of javan sumatran island but uh, look at this map javan means not only javan but it also has this uh, in uh, malaysia indonesia laos and the cambodia so see this this portion also southeast asia also they are there so javan means they are not restricted only to that area so same way one horn rhinoceros means not only restricted to india it is in nepal also same way sumatra see this same way sumatran rhinos sumatran rhinos also not restricted to this island area it's also there so this is there second uh, so why I have kept this is uh, current affairs. So April 2020. So why I have kept this that? See, uh, there are uh, sulfur dioxide from Caribbean volcano reaches India. So okay. So this is current affairs. So they from Caribbean islands. It is nearly uh, to USA. From there it has reached. But uh, you please check the previous. I th I think I said this. Uh, thermal power plants. I said this thermal power plants desulfurization, the de, uh, flu gas desulfurization. There is a technology you can check that video. Flu gas desulfurization by National Thermal Power Corporation. I said that. Uh, what I said means then that means SO2 is released by thermal power plants. But uh, UPSC will ask SO2 sources. Okay. So, and they will give a list, 1, 2, 3, 4, they will give and they will ask you to uh, see which and all has the source of SO2 or acid rain. Thermal power plants, yes, I showed you that. Again, volcano, yes, from volcano also SO2 is released. So, that is why I have kept this uh, current affairs. So, SO2 is released by thermal power plants and volcanoes. Next, uh, and see, so, okay, world, so it, it is confirmed by World Meteorological Organization, World Meteorological Organization, uh, when it is an intergovernmental organization, uh, it is working uh, for uh, this world meteorology. And if you happen to remember uh, our first IPCC, first video, first video, I said that uh, it was started by uh, United Nations Environmental Program and World Meteorological Organization, two. So, IPCC was started by UNEP, United Nations Environmental Program. I have UNEP at the last slide and World Meteorological Organization. World Meteorological Organization, please look at it. 
and uh, this was see uh, okay this report was in current affairs okay this report was in current affairs global forest goal report who uh, says global forest goal report it is given by department of economic and social welfare sorry social affairs uh, united nations uh, have, see this and all this is fact okay this is fact report and all there are so many reports in the current affairs how to make logic out of it A report please you check this global forest goal report by department of economic uh, and social affairs united nations please uh, have it separately but this report i think uh, is useful uh, global methane this report i think you can make assessment uh, global methane assessment uh, benefits and see usually carbon dioxide report only many release okay but this global methane they are releasing for methane ch4 okay uh, who is releasing okay first question you should ask who is releasing it is released by this climate and clean air coalition okay climb first point you should know this see this uh, as i told you co2 everyone releases okay co2 everyone uh, releases report but the methane okay global methane assessment okay it is see this look at this climate clean cli climate and clean air see i i uh, maybe okay this seems strange but uh, clean climate climate and clean air coalition and second point you should know second point so only global effort it is not a national effort global effort third point you should know it unites governments civil society private sector committed in imc what upsc will concentrate is that climate clean air coalition okay global methane assessment whether they have asked this report and all i do not know but if they ask this climate clean air coalition which is very important seems very important right it is a very important organization which is looking at this ch4 which is also a unfcc green global greenhouse gas okay it's a greenhouse gas right uh, in the last video you saw the list of greenhouse gases i asked you to uh, look at it greenhouse gas but uh, see here it unites clean air coalition it unites governments civil society and private sector also please check this and uh, see this but what and all its focus so uh, what and all its focus usually uh, it is focusing on see this methane black carbon hfc see what is this black carbon this is the current affairs actually this was the current affairs so and uh, i have a feeling maybe uh, what is this black carbon please wikipedia i will next slide is there i'll show you the slide but uh, please check this black carbon also this is uh, creating a little bit of problem now and hence i feel that uh, they can concentrate on uh, as uh, carbon dioxide so clean uh, climate and clean air coalition what is this they are having this coalition of all these people and they are looking at see they are releasing this report global methane assessment report they are releasing that but they are also looking at not only methane they are looking at black carbon hfc this is the point you should be very very precise prelims ku precise okay and uh, what is this black carbon see this black carbon is the many particles that are see that they are emitted when diesel coal and other biomass fuel see they are basically released by these uh, petrol sorry uh, fuel fossil fuels uh, when fossil fuel is burned this black carbon is released and uh, second point see another point see this black carbon stays in the atmosphere for two weeks only upsc will stay say it is uh, very long lasting okay va last time they asked for ch4 okay ch4 converts into co2 uh, at what interval okay how uh, this means uh, unfcc has a list of greenhouse gases correct unfcc so please uh, you can put that in the comment as well unfcc has the greenhouse gases list uh, in this list if you see each uh, each greenhouse gas has a time okay in atmosphere how long it will be so there is a time this how long data if you remember this was uh, see the ch4 was in uh, atmosphere gets converted into co2 how long there was a question in prelims okay so when you know these greenhouse gases and how long it takes to convert into uh, co2 you will understand but uh, black carbon check this black carbon only two weeks okay very small time only 
but in that two weeks it is causing this much problem okay this much problem it is causing okay and uh, see uh, the second point is that this black carbon observes see this is the second observes sunlight see it heats up uh, this black carbon actually black as in atmosphere or a surface absorbs heat la uh, that is why you will not wear black dress in hot sunlight okay so you will absorb heat means when you absorb heat it accelerates see this this snow it accelerates this uh, the right end uh, picture see that it uh, accelerates melting because absorbs sunlight uh, and uh, then prevents uh, see uh, again alters the weather pattern so it is in uh, atmosphere for two weeks it is absorbing sunlight hence it is causing a lot of problem and it is melting the ice this big this melting ice this is why it is in news actually see this is why uh, if you happen to see upsc has now asked this glacier related question or glacier related questions a lot now uh, because uh, glaciers are melting and if you happen to see this black carbon is accelerating that okay black carbon is accelerating so then that must mean that you should know why black carbon where black carbon what is black carbon okay next to the see again uh, related to that this uh, i this was in current affairs okay uh, the ice shelves as i told you ice shelves are melting see black carbon is melting all these ices this this uh, ice shelf this was the largest iceberg like in the titanic uh, iceberg melted now the like that this a76 it is dubbed as a76 it is in the this see your your job now is to see where is weddell sea okay weddell sea near antarctica okay uh, please check this please check this my friend where is this uh, weddell sea ron i say okay ron ice shelf also you can leave uh, where is this weddell sea Okay, where is this geography map okay geography map question map question what happened was this ice shelf okay it is ice shelf actually melted now melting right so ice shelf melted and is breaking away see this it's breaking away it's the largest ice shelf to break off okay so that is why it is in news when this is uh, breaking off near vedal sea you have to know where is vedal sea and uh, next point next sea snot uh, this was in current affairs so this is june okay june current affairs june 2021 uh, this sea snot what is this sea snot means some kind of algae okay some kind of green sludge okay this is green sludge in turkey sea of marmara okay why i have kept this again uh, see uh, there is some sea snot now there is some black uh, see, see like this see the uh, see the picture okay see the picture uh, some kind of uh, one smudge kind of thing is happening in the mouth of that uh, sea of marmara but it is a map question see map question where is this sea of marmara see this this is turkey uh, this is sea of marmara this is bosphorus see and again see this two things please check it what is black sea now it is your job to see black sea and aegean sea and mediterranean where is mediterranean how it is connected aegean sea then mediterranean okay sea of marmara please see the sea it's actually here it's a connecting black sea eh? if we connect i then it comes here then to the aegean sea then to the uh, the mediterranean so this darn uh, dardanelle uh, so if you happen to see i'll tell you an interesting fact so because we are all writing uh, upsc prelims so you will know a person called as xerxes okay xerxes uh, or you, you would have seen the 300 movie okay sparta if you happen to see sparta and uh, sparta and uh, uh, the xerxes actually uh, c comes to war with sparta okay 300 uh, the uh, Lionidas will actually uh, resist Xerxes okay and uh, Xerxes comes through this route actually Xerxes comes through this route and uh, what happens is that see at that time and all there is no uh, you see no flight and all so you have to see when you have to see you have to cross and go Greece is here right Sparta is in Greece Sparta is a state in Greece so you have to cross and go this way so you have to build a bridge here Okay, this was the Dardanelles. So this is the place where Xerxes built a bridge. So this is the place the Xerxes built a bridge. And while building the bridge, this is what he said, my friends. Uh, so it is written. So it is written by um, uh, written written in the ancient scriptures. Like uh, in the time when the bridge was built, Xerxes was looking. See, he is a king, and he wanted to go to war. 
that is no point but when he was seeing all the bridges being built and he saw, he foresaw the future he was like in 100 years in 100 years this is what like ashoka you know ashoka a realization of Ash ashoka xerxes also felt like that uh, in 100 years you me i uh, they uh, them the people building the bridge the people resisting lionides everyone would be dead right so everyone would not we will not even have a single trace of our dust and bones but why do we then go to war this was the realization he had why do we go to war and that is what ashoka had if you remember ashoka after the kalinga war has that xerxes also has that and if you see ashoka stoop i mean ashoka that uh, ashok pillars you know and another fact is that ashok pillar uh, so, so ashok pillars you know in ashok ashok pillar there is an ashok pillar near our uh, ananagar also right ashok pillar bus stop is there ashok pillars are all over the india uh, one is in i think coimbatore also i think one is there so all over india are there this pillar was actually modeled by this persian xerxes kind of pillars in persia xerxes had this or sir xerxes and his father darius had all these pillars so ashoka had a model uh, from that only see this is ancient uh, world but anyways so this dardanelles sea of marmara now you will remember black sea aegean sea this is a story say so they built and they went and that is how they war, war was fought so this is a tidbit okay so then okay then there is an united nations convention on desertification so there is a convention if you had to do, if you remember unep united nations environmental program first uh, page i showed you first video i showed you so many conventions in that this was there united nations convention on desertification where arid semi arid and dry land sub humid areas see this was asked in upsc they said that uh, united nations convention on desertification works only in africa only okay only in africa this is what their statement was but no because it works wherever there is arid semi arid and dry humid areas and if you see karakal remember karakal as uh, karakal was critically endangered declared by national board for wildlife karakal lives in these areas la uh, so remember that please check that uh, but uh, united nations convention on climate or oh, sorry combat desertification works in these arid semi arid and dry humid and the report see this land degradation new neutrality so it works on that so uh, so how many partners see uh, first point this uh, there are so many partners and uh, second point improve the living condition of people in dry lands so dry area semi arid arid uh, we saw right uh, and i i specifically had this map of uh, arid and semi arid areas uh, uh, showing the uh, water contribution or monsoon in india the picture of monsoon in india and why these areas have this semi arid and then see it's a bottom up approach see again uh, like in the in the ramsar convention i told you they said that international cooperation they have correct they will have international cooperation no 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 see uh, ramsar if you remember they have local national international same way see here it is a bottom up approach okay it's a bottom up approach bottom up approach means from the lower to the upper okay uh, and uh, see uh, So thank you for watching this video and anyone who has not liked it please do like it share it subscribe it and uh, all the best for your preliminary examination thank you